In the six blacksmithing processes, upsetting is the opposite process to drawing out. Upsetting is to make something shorter and fatter. You are watching me upset the end of a piece of bar that is inch and a half by inch and a half. This is a heavy upset. Requires heavy blows, requires a very localized short heat in order to create a short fat end to turn into a five clout finial on a newel post. It's hard to see in the video, but as I am striking this bar onto that upsetting block, I'm rotating at a quarter of a turn between blows. This distributes the unevenness of the blow all the way around the circumference and tends to make the upset even on all four sides. So ideally, your work is in about the middle of your fire. It should be a neutral flame, all the oxygen is consumed, but there's still enough oxygen to consume all of the fuel. One of the things about creating a consistent short upset on the end of a piece is you determine about how long you want your heat and then mark the piece against some reference point so that as the upset progresses you don't continue to feed further and further into the fire on multiple heats. So I'll mark, mark the edge of the forge and try to keep the fires, the pieces penetration into the fire about the same distance each time. Upsetting big pieces requires an upsetting block. I'm lucky enough to have a fissure saw hammering anvil. The physics of upsetting is interesting. A heavier hammer, and when I'm using this bar, it's about a 21 pound hammer, transmits enough energy that the upset will transfer quite a ways down into the heat. That is, a longer section of the bar will increase in cross-section. A lighter hammer, transmitting less energy, causes a shorter length of the bar to increase in cross-section. As you can see, I've switched to a hammer. It's a three-pounder at this point in order to begin to flare and widen about the last half inch of the bar instead of transmitting the upset all the way down into the heat. This illustrates why a coal forge is vital. Coal burns at over 3400 degrees which is 1,200 degrees or so hotter than propane. In a coal forge, particularly this one with a closed fire, you can make a nice, short, hot heat. In a propane forge, it heats a long piece of the metal, which makes it impossible to draw a short heat for a short upset. And now to finish the shape, to create the sharp lines to the corners, to flare the lips, out on the edge of this which give it uh, just frankly an elegant touch I use a two pound cross peen. It's only moving the very surface of this um, large piece of steel but that's exactly what we need to finish this thing up.
This bar is mild steel, less than half a percent carbon, and so when I water quench it, it does not harden. But I'm always nervous about it. There are uh, aberrations, inconsistencies in steel carbon content, and so I quench it quickly, pull it out, leaving enough residual heat to temper it if, in fact, it did harden at all. Adequate.